Hello friends, so today's question, we are going to do two questions this time. With what maximum acceleration can a person run up and down on an inclined plane of angle of inclination theta, assume mu as coefficient of static friction. So this is given an inclined plane and we have a person which is running up as well as down with acceleration a and angle of inclination is given as theta. So, it is supposed to ask what will be the maximum acceleration, okay. So, we already can say that for maximum acceleration, The friction should act in the direction of motion. And this is the first point, and the second one is states that whenever a man, a person rather, is in motion the direction of friction or friction is along the direction of the motion is along the direction of motion okay so these two statements complement each other okay so as we can see maximum acceleration when the direction of friction is along the direction of motion also, whenever the direction of person is in motion, whether it is walking or whether it is running, the direction of friction has to be along the direction of the motion. Okay. So these are the two statements. Now we are going to find out two cases running up and running down. So let us consider case one. And it is for running up. So this is our inclined plane with the angle of inclination as theta and let us draw a man like a you can say box like this so this is a man so we are going to have if its mass is m mg which we can divide it into two components so this will be theta so we are going to be mg cos of theta and this we are going to be mg sine of theta and the direction of motion is in upward expression a this is direction of motion so it is going to have a frictional force fr in the upward direction and let us suppose there is a normal n which will be acting on it. So we can say our fr is equal to mu n where mu is given as a coefficient of friction and from here m is equal to mg cos theta so we get fr is equal to mu mg cos of theta. So we can say if man of mass m is running up 
the inclined plane with acceleration a then you can write the equation as fr minus mg sin theta which will be equal to m so from here we can find out fr fr a will be equal to m a plus m g sin theta okay. and we consider that if it is said that the coefficient is given a static friction okay we can say but f r should be less than equal to mu n and we can substitute value of f r as well as n okay f r we are going to use equation number one let me write it here that n is equal to mg cos theta equation number two okay. so using equation one and equation two in equation three we get Let me write it here once again that of the fr is less than equal to mu n and if you put fr we get ma plus mg sin theta so less than equal to mu and we need value of n n is over mg cos of theta so m cancel out throughout and it is supposed to be maximum acceleration okay, so you can say for maximum acceleration this equation can be modified as a plus g sin theta is equal to mu g cos of theta and let us write this as as a max okay so we can say for maximum acceleration a is equal to a max so from here we can find out that our a max maximum acceleration is equal to mu cos of theta minus sine of theta multiplied by g so this is our maximum acceleration okay, this is the maximum acceleration of the person running up the inclined plane okay. now here we can also see one thing that the term mass is missing in this equation so it means maximum acceleration is independent of the mass of the person now we come to the case 2 case 2 is running down so let us draw the single theta so this is our man and 
once again there will be mg the domino direction we can divide it into two components this angle will be theta so we have mg cos of theta and this will be mg sin of theta okay and it is moving this direction with action a so this is direction of motion so we are going to have a force of friction that was called fr in this direction and once again there will be a normal n okay. so from here we can see that our normal n like in previous case is equal to mg cos of theta okay now in this case the friction will be acting in the downward direction you can say as the motion rather the direction of motion motion is in downward direction downward direction the frictional force fr will also act in same direction which means downward direction so let us write the equation for the motion we can say over fr plus mg sin theta is equal to me and from here we can say over fr is equal to me minus mg sin theta so once again we know that value of the friction fr you can say but fr is less than equal to mu n so let us call this as equation number it was 3 4 and this is number 5 and this is 6 you can say using equation 4 comma 5 in equation 6 so fr is our ma minus mg sine of theta is less than equal to mu n is mg cos of theta so once again m is cancel out so we can say for maximum acceleration a is equal to a max so we can say our a max is equal to mu cos of theta plus sine theta and g yeah i forgot it let me write it here so this is maximum acceleration of the person running down the incline plane plane okay. so this completes the 
first question in the second question it is asked that a plank of mass 3m is placed on a rough inclined plane and a man of mass m walks down the board if the coefficient of friction between the board and inclined plane is 0.5 find the minimum acceleration of the man such that the plank do not slide okay. so this is a man plank and the coefficient of friction between here it is given as 0.5 okay. and the man is walking down the board now in this case we are supposed to find out that the plank should not be sliding so it means the frictional value which we are or rather we can say frictional force with which we are interested is only between the plank and the inclined plane we are not interested in the force of friction between the man and the plank so we can consider that the man and plank are one entity or one system we can say that let a be the acceleration of the man this is the first part and in the second part we can say let man and plank is considered as one system which means that Frictional force friction force to be considered to be considered will be only between plank and inclined plane. So these are the two condition with which we are going to solve the question. So let us draw the figure. So this is given as 37 degree. So this is our plank and this is our man. So in this direction the man mass is given as 3m and this is m so we are going to have 4mg we can divide this into two components this will be 37 degree so we have 4mg cos of 37 and this will be 4mg sine of 37 and this will be the direction of the friction of the plank with respect to the inclined plane okay we are not interested in the friction between man and the plank we are only interested in the friction between the plank and the inclined plane and there will be also a normal let us call as n and they are both moving in the downward direction with the acceleration a So we can write the equation which states that 4mg sine of 37 minus fr is equal to ma.
ان دبل اف ار ايكوال تو ميو ان اند ذس ويل بي كومينج از ميو انتو 4 ام جي كوس اوف 37 ذس از ذا ليفر اف ار سو يو بوت اف ار هير يو جيت 4 ام جي ساين اوف 37 ماينس اف ار از ميو 4 mg cos of 37 is equal to ma this m cancel out all around and we get our acceleration is equal to g can be taken as common so this will be 4 into sin of 37 Minus mu is given as 0.5, so you can say 5 upon 10 multiplied by cos of 37. The value of g is 10. This will be 4 into sine of 37. Or we can take 4 also common. That will be much more easy. So we are left with three by five minus five point ten multiplied by four by five to four. This goes by this and two and this will be five. So we are left with ten three by five minus two by five into four. Which will equal ten into one by five into four. So this goes by two, and we get this eight meter per second square. So you can see a will be coming as eight meter per second square. This is the minimum acceleration. such that blank does not slide thank you